I'm back. It's Sunday. It's mega walk time. It's just before nine o'clock. As you know, every Sunday we do a mega walk somewhere on the island or somewhere wherever I am, which hopefully in the winter I'm going to get out and go traveling a little bit and show you some amazing places. But today we're in Playa Blanca. I haven't moved far, but we're going to do a little bit of a different video today. So we're starting here at the five star H10 Rubicon Palace, which is one of my favorite hotels. And I am going to take you because when I do these lives, I always do like along the front and I get loads of questions. How far is this from Rubicon Palace? How far away is Paradise Island? How far is the Rio? How far is Lanza Sur? How far is the Elba? Because they're sort of set back from town. Um, they're all along this line here, this road here, which I'm going to take you. So today, where are we going? Well, we're going to walk from here to the Rubic from the Rubicon Palace. We're going to go all the way down the road and we're going to see a few hotels. You're going to see Paradise Island. You're going to see the La Branda Alicia Suites. You're going to see Elba Player Club. Then we're going to turn around and come down and see the Rio, see Lanza Sur and the water park, and then go down the, the town and on the front. And we'll walk the front, turn around, and then walk the front this way back to the Rubicon Palace. And there's Tui just taking some people home behind me. So that's it. That's a bloody long walk. What, whether or not we're going to do that in two hours, I don't know. But let's go anyway. And the first place I'm going to show you is the Tim and Fire. Uh, no, the Tim and Fire, the bloody Rubicon Palace. There you go, look. I'm getting confused already as to where we are. Right, let's just have a little look. Let me get set up here. We have a slurp of water. Morning, Mark. How are you? Morning, Neil. Right, so this is Rubicon Palace. So this is where we're going to start. And like I said, it's a bit of a... This is... It's sort of quite far out, but it's not far out. But it's a beautiful place. Look. Look at them windows. It's gorgeous. What a dear someone waiting for a private taxi there we're not going to go too far in but we will have a little sneak in here look and just show you look at that beautiful isn't it absolutely gorgeous but there's loads of people look waiting either to check in or check out so let's not disturb but i've got a full video of that on the youtube channel i think i have anyway I've definitely got one where Keith showed me around. Right, so look at these views out here as well. You've got Montagna Rocca up there. So we're going to walk past Montagna Rocca as well. I'm going to tell you how you can climb up the top of there. Um, so this could be quite an interesting walk. And of course, you're going to see the front as well. So you're going to get them sea views. But I don't know how many people will be on to. Well, I'm saying that. We've got 520 already. But I don't know how many is going to join us today. Because I've heard in the UK and Ireland, it's bloody hot, isn't it? Is it a heat wave or something? Well, here, it's bloody hot as well. Can't believe this, Mr. Travel On. I did this walk two weeks ago. Well, there you go. You're going to do it again right now. Is it raining in the UK? No way. I thought there was a heat wave. So maybe we'll get quite a few on today. Cool and cloudy. Okay. So maybe there'll be a few on. Which hotel was that? That was the H10. Rubicon Palace. Right, it should stay warm, Val. I mean, look at that sun. It's bloody booming, isn't it? <laughs> so, don't worry about these sites, okay? You've got um, Montagna Rocca there, which you can climb up. Look at them new houses. I fancy buying that, look. I don't know whether that's for sale or someone's living there, but look at that. Imagine living in that. Apart from the road, them are your sea views over there. Where's this, what part of Lanzarote? So we're in Playa Blanca, Lanzarote today. And we are walking down this sort of road here. Because on this road, you've got a number of hotels. You've got the Labranda Alicia Suite. You've got the Paradise Island. You've got the Diamond Resort. Um, can't remember the name of that. Hardin, Hardiners del Sol. You've got the Elba. You've got Club Player Club. Play Club. And then we're gonna walk down and show you Lanza Sur, maybe Tim and Fire Palace if we go that way, Flamingo, Rio, and then we'll head down the front. So we've got lots to show you. What time is it there? Same time. Do you know there's a bus? Yes, you can get the bus. There is a local bus that's just outside the, Tim, uh, the Rubicon Palace and you can go there. So down in this direction here, you see where I'm pointing just down there, there's some nice, 
sort of bars and restaurants that you could miss, especially if you're not stopping in this type of uh, this part of town. You've got the Greek restaurant Sebastian's. You've also got uh, Luna Rosa, which is an Italian, and then you've got an Ar Argentina steakhouse down there as well. So there's quite a few places down there. And just down the little steps brings you right down to the beach as well. So you can see that. See that beautiful cloud ahead, uh, the mountain ahead, look with the clouds just over the top. Looks like, uh, looks like the Alps, doesn't it? And there's some other big houses, look. Right at the base of Montagna Rocca. That's a huge bloody place, look at that. Wouldn't mind living there either great views apart from the road so just there that hotel there is the Natura Palace so you've got the Natura Palace Hotel just there look and again that is a beautiful place we'll probably see that towards the end of the year uh, live this morning when we're walking back uh, so don't forget guys if you've just joined us who are we travel on world we're based in Lanzarote but we cover all of the Canary Islands and more and we're uh, well we sell excursions. So all your trips, tours, boat trips, anything you want, you can get on our website, excursionslanzarotti.com, travelon.world, use the code TTK, and you'll get yourself a cheeky little discount as well. And um, we've got this channel, TikTok, and then we're also recording live in 4K um, for YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's a catch up. Uh, you can still comment, so don't worry, I will answer all the comments. Um, but you can't, obviously, um, you can't comment in real time um, I can't see all the comments on TikTok because it goes very very fast but we've got some great guys on Mark who's actually in Player Blanca at the moment on holiday but he's on moderating we've got Neil, we've got Patrick, we've got Nicola there's a few on that I maybe haven't seen on there but um, Mrs Travel on, she'll answer any questions as well so let's go so, like I said, that is in the Torah, and then these little bungalows here are called the, I forget the name now, Palmeiras Gardens, I can't remember the bloody name, I'm getting too old, me, I'm getting too old, my mind is there, uh, my mind is going mad, either that or I'm absolutely knackered today, because it's been a mad week, so we've got loads of videos your way. Not only has the old dragon been here for a week, I mean my mother. <laughs> I don't think she's even up at the moment. Mrs. Travelon sent me a picture, she's snoozing. We've worn her out and she's bloody worn me out as well. Uh, but we, she's out, so me and Mrs. Travelon have been heading out. We, we did a night in the Princess Yiza Hotel. So that's a video on the way. We had dinner at the Oasis in Marina Rubicon. That's another video on the way. That was amazing. Um, what else have we done? Well, we, uh, I took my mother to see Chubby Brown as well. That was cool. Uh, that was a really good night. You leave her alone, Mark. You've met her. <laughs> She's barking mad. Um, so Chubby Brown was good. So it's unlike me to be uh, out and about as much as that. But we took advantage. But she's only here for another week, I think. Well, she goes home soon because the kids are back at school. Oh, the dragon is up, look, she said. <laughs> good morning, mother. Stay out my way today. Don't wash everything in sight. I tell you what, I don't know if your mum does this, but the minute an item of clothing is taken off, it's in the wash. I tell you what, I think the water board is probably looking at their computer and going, what the hell is going on with this house? They're using so much water, they must have a water leak. No, it's just his mother's here washing everything in sight. And then she puts it back in completely the different place that it's meant to live so I've spent most of the week searching for things anyway there you go she'll be sat there now with a face on her right there's Montagna Rocca beautiful place and beautiful uh, houses as well down here <laughs> Mark sticking up for her <laughs> somebody's coming to Lanzarote in October fantastic what country are you in? We're in uh, Playa Blanca, Lanzarote. So let me show you this, guys. This is new. And this is, um, well, it's either going to be a good thing or it's going to be a complete waste of money. My, 
my guess is it's going to be the latter so this is the new solar panelled uh, place um, which has not been turned on yet and I've not seen anybody working on it for a very very long time but all the panels are here um, in my opinion it's a bloody eyesore but this is what they want isn't it this is what they want us all to be doing so there you go big solar panel farm thing there um, is it going to save I don't think it's going to save us any money I don't know what it's going to do but we shall see I reckon it'll just sit there and it's just there for the sake of being there but that's that's my uh, my views I don't know I don't know but there's lots of people having solar powered uh, fitted and I've heard different rumours well different stories that some are saving money some are not um, and some are just re regretting what they've with the decision they've made because it costs a lot of money to have it installed but there you go there's the uh, solar powers there look Will we, be, will we be getting all our electric from the sun? I don't know. So let me just have a look where we are. Um, we'll cross over the road in a minute because we're coming up to the Alicia Suites Hotel. Do you kids go to Spanish school? Yeah, they do. So the kids were born here. Me and Mrs. Travelon were obviously not born here. I was born in Birmingham and she was born in Coventry. And I moved away from England to be a holiday rep and meet some... Uh, foreign senoritas and hook up with their you know a Spanish or a Greek girl and get married I ended up meeting somebody from bloody Coventry so there you go <laughs> and then we ended up staying in uh, Lanzarote and uh, that's where the kids were born so it's just lovely little houses there look on that side of the road we are going to cross over in a bit freedom for the Canary Islands oh yes Freedom for the world, my friend, not just the Canary Islands. Can you go to HL Club Playa Blanca? Yep, we're going to go there. Hold fire. Coventry is proper exotic, I know, yeah. <laughs> living the dream, stay. Yeah, I guess we are living the dream. I mean, I can't complain. It's a beautiful place to live. But a lot of people think it's just sea, sand and sangria. You know what I mean? I mean, we work. Oh, I work... 15 hour days you know what I mean Mrs Travel on too she's work she works a lot luckily now we work from home but before we didn't before we had a shop um, and I work for a company so before that we were traveling and commuting to work as normal nine to five good morning you're right so we were all over the place now we work from home it's a little bit better but it's still work Can somebody uh, block the political Guanche 2023? Appreciate your comments, Guanche, but you're boring me with your political views of the Canary Islands, sorry. Um, right, let's have a look. How hot is it? It's bloody hot today. It's definitely in the sort of late 20s. Cheers, Mark, thank you. Just stumbled across your video. I missed that one. I had a car for two weeks, where's the best place to go? Well, hiring a car is a great thing to do. Um, to see the other resorts, to see some of the villages, hiring a car to go and see some of the main places like Timofi National Park and the attractions is an absolute nightmare. I would recommend booking a tour for that because the coaches get privilege, the coaches go straight in, the tour guides go straight in. If you hired a car, you're gonna to have to queue, you're gonna to have to wait. And apparently they're bringing a new thing in now where you're gonna to have to book it and reserve your spot digitally, which is a stressful time if you've got a car, because you've got to find it. So I would say book a tour to do all the attractions, hire a car to go and see the villages, the beaches, and the different places like that. Um, you can book tours on our website, travelon.world and excursionslanzarote.com. And if you use the code TTK, you can get yourself a discount on there as well so that's my advice so we've got La Branda Alicias over the road look there's some people there getting the bus back to the airport with jet 2 by the looks of it 
he's having a little jog. So let's cross over and have a look, because at the front there, look, is where everybody has breakfast and it's the restaurant with, with really nice views. And then there's some lovely apartments uh, at the back end. So from here, we're gonna go just up the road as well to Paradise Island, that's a really popular place. And these guys are all going home, look, Sunday's quite a big changeover day here in Lanzarote. So there's a Alicia Suites, look, up there. Breakfast on the terrace, and it's like little, little apartments and then loads of bloody scooters always out here look player blanca is rife for the scooters so we're in player blanca today for those of you that have just joined us uh will you be going past iberia star yes i will 100 meters to go uh, the right villa jasmine can you film it when you pass um yeah lanza looks villa jasmine just tell me when. It's one of them villas over there, no? Uh, is Tropical Island good? Two we just changed from our original house. Tropical, yeah, Tropical Island's big. It's a beautiful place. There's a video on my YouTube of Tropical Island. They're yeah, done quite some time ago, but, um, but yeah, it's a big place. It's like accommodation around little pools and then one major pool. Um, reminds me, and I don't I want to put you off about this because it doesn't sound like it's appealing. It reminds me of a Butlins style layout, uh, but it's not Butlins, obviously. But you know, like where you have your blocks and your accommodation and your entertainment places and that, that's what it reminds me of. The one with the big cactus in the gardens on the left of the big new villa. Uh, that one, I think, maybe. That's got cactuses. Or it could be up here look that's the new villa look so there's a new villa being built up there what's up i don't think he what i don't know i missed that pat good morning pat's on is there parking at tropical island yes loads of parking big car park outside um staying at alba lanzarote in october we're going to pass that in a minute there's a big and uh, give you all the information you need on that. That'll be coming soon on YouTube. If you've not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it if you went over and subscribed to that. We are literally, I think about two, 300 off 10,000, which would be quite a big milestone for me. So if you uh, haven't already, please go over to the YouTube and subscribe to that. Do me a big favor. These are the little, um, villas or bungalows in the Labranda Halicias. Will you be going past Las Casitas? Um, I don't think so this morning. I might do. How are you always on holiday? I'm not Liverpool, I live in Lanzarote. <laughs> Staying at Rio Paraiso next week, beautiful hotel. Can you do a video player flamingo? There's a full video, Chris, on my YouTube channel. And somebody showed us around the room, two, two lovely lads showed me around their room um, and told us all about the hotel. And that's on YouTube, so make sure to head over there and subscribe. What is the next, when is the next live in Fort Aventura? Um, soon, let me get September out of the way. Because September's still quite busy. And then like I said, I'm gonna get traveling a little bit. Temperature right now, about 27. It's very hot best hotel for children well we're going to see loads of them this morning uh, you've got the lanza sur with its own water park you've got the rio which is massive um you've got the ibera star which is huge as well so there's quite a few so let's show you something interesting now because we're sort of on it with this is the problem we're doing sort of back street videos is uh we're sort of just walking along the road aren't we so here we go let's head up here i'll show you the paradise island and then we'll head back down we'll go up to club player blanca and then we'll go uh, elba and then come down and walk down the front so it's just going to give you an idea of how far away you are from the front here um, if you're stopping in this area jardinas del sol this is a sort of timeshare accommodation and 
it's got a place called Bailey Bar, which I did a video of the one in Puerto del Carmen. We ate there, that was nice. And it's just in here, look. Lovely sort of bungalows. Lovely bungalows, there's a pool bar and a big pool as well. And on this side, you've got some private villas as well. Lots of people stay in these villas on the other side. Uh, Playa Blanca is really good for villa holidays. I know Mark, who's the moderator on, he did a video with me, which again is on our YouTube. I keep trying to put it on TikTok, Mark, and it won't let me put it on for some reason. I don't know why. It's nothing to do with you. It's some technical glitch with the video, so I'm gonna need to look into that. Um, but yeah, loads of people have villa holidays here, which is another great thing to do. Oh, right, let's cross over. These are the big villas, look here, look. There's a big street of big, massive villas and they've got upstairs and downstairs. They're massive, these ones. Really big. Stayed at H10 Rubicon Palace, that's nice. Just, we started there. Love Lanzarote, Las Costas. Yes, Las Costas is nice. So we're just gonna walk up top of this hill, just to kill me. On a bloody Sunday morning. <laughs> it's getting far too old for this. So this is quite, a, not a steep hill, but if you're walking from town, this would be the last leg, you know? This would be the last leg up to the Paradise Island. If you stop at the Paradise Island, I'm sure you've walked up here and thought, I wish I'd got a taxi. <laughs> My sister has a villa in Lanzarote, fabulous. Best of Paradise Island, been to Paradise Island four times. It's a beautiful place, very popular. Um, very noisy, because it's a big family hotel. So no peace and quiet. And a lot of sunbed wars. A lot of reserving sunbeds. Right, we're nearly there, up to the Paradise. Where are you walking today? Playa Blanca, Lanzarote. And we're gonna head down the front. But I'm showing people today how far the front is from this area. Because there's a lot of hotels in this area which are not, not um, right down on the front. And when I do the lives, people always ask, how far is this? So that's what I thought today. Sunday being changed over day as well, look. There's loads of people getting the bus home. You can see, look, two massive buses here, look. And there'll be loads of people outside uh, Paradise as well, so I don't want to disturb them too much. But they're all getting there. They're all getting home, look. There you go. So there is the Paradise Island. Big family hotel. Very big. Uh, it's got its own little water park at the back. I don't think that this bus actually, I think this is the beach bus that takes you downtown because there's nobody with luggage. So this would be the bus that takes you down to the town, which would be the free bus. And you get that just outside, look. Because there's no, uh, not much going on sort of pace wise so I think they're just getting the free bus down. Let's have a look. Have a little sneak in here. I can't show you too much because it's a big bloody reception this. But they're busy checking people in so let's go. Let's just walk past. So I'll just show you the views. <laughs> See if I can show you the views here and then you'll get an idea of how big the place is. And then we'll leg it. There you go, look. Massive place, very busy as well today, look. There you go. Here's the Paradise Island. And the Dino Park's right at the back. I've done a full video of this place on YouTube, all right? Um, Jack and his dad, Tom, showed me around and I did a full video on that. So that's on our YouTube channel if you want to see more of this hotel. Obviously, I've got quite a big camera set up today, so I'm not sneaking in anywhere. I'm just literally walked in to show you that. <laughs> and I'm getting out again, I'm getting out again. Yes, there you go, Patrick. Check out Tomo and Jack's video, there you go. 
that was a great video pat your mate tom and jack tom and jack from dublin they showed us around and uh showed us the room so if you want to walk up the mountain there look montagna rocca you literally come up to the paradise island and just go up that road there and there's a walkway um just up there there's a pathway look you can see the path leading up there it's not a bad walk it's quite easy so you can do it quite easily it's not bad at all morning you're right so it's an easy walk up there so there you go that was paradise island uh, thb tropical island is right at the other side so i'm not going to do that today dan but i have got a full video on our youtube on that as well i do sorry for repeating myself uh, saying to look on the youtube to everybody but well there's two reasons one I want to get to 10,000, so I make sure to subscribe. And two, it's where I put all the big videos. So um, I, I always film it for YouTube in mind because YouTube, YouTube stores the video and has a very good search option. So if you're looking for hotel names or things to do in Lanzarote, you put that into YouTube and my videos will come up. TikTok, if you say, oh, have you done a video on this hotel? I'm like, yes, somewhere on TikTok. There's no actual search facility yet on TikTok to find the actual videos. So um, TikTok's just very fast, isn't it? So how we run the channel here is we're always live on TikTok because TikTok's better for live. And then we record it in 4K and we put it on the YouTube channel. So there you go. Uh, hi bud, have you done Flamingo Beach? Flamingo, yes, I have. I've done Flamingo Beach. Um, again, <laughs> on our YouTube channel <laughs> and on here somewhere. So two lads showed me around, I forget the names now, James, I think one of his names, one of the names was, they showed me around um, the Flamingo and showed me their room, so we've done that. So as I said, Harding del, del Sol on that way. It's easier heading down to the front uh, than it is coming back with the hill, but it's not a major hill, but that was the free bus look. So that bus is taking people down to the beaches. So that's not too bad, is it, if you stop in there jump on that free bus it'll head you down to town and if you want to get a taxi back or the free bus back I suppose you can plan that or you can get one of these scooters because there's bloody hundreds of them in Playa Blanca and they're quite handy although I hate them they are quite handy and the reason they're in Playa Blanca is because the taxis are quite scarce in Playa Blanca it's a bit of a nightmare getting a taxi if I'm honest with you so yeah I thought a good idea for Playa Blanca would be a Wally train you know, like the little trains that take you around. I reckon that'd be a good idea. People would like that. They can jump on the little train and it could take you on a route around Playa Blanca and you could hop on and hop off. Uh, going to the New Mexican tonight. Yeah, I've seen that New Mexican. I need to get down there and try it. Um, where are we, what are we up to? So, um, oh, tomorrow, me and Mrs. Travel on. <laughs> She's bloody loving this, by the way. We're actually got a freebie tomorrow, so I can keep my wallet well and truly in my pocket. Um, there's a place right in the wine regions uh, called Villa um, uh, Finca, Florida, and they've got like a little sort of bed and breakfast um, hotel, tiny place, but it's right in the middle of the wine regions, and they do what's called a dome dinner experience, and they've got like this. Um, it's like a glass dome and it's all been decorated with fairy lights and stuff and you can book it and have a dinner in there uh, so we're selling that on our website excursions lanzarote and travel on dot world and um, so it's a new experience you need a car to get there there's no pickup um, but obviously i've got to do a video for it so i'm getting a freebie tomorrow we're going to go up there we're going to have dinner in the dome very romantic and then we've got an overnight stay there as well. So I'll be able to show you that. And it's one of them places that if you are in Lanzarote and you fancy just doing something different for one night, you could book a night's accommodation as well and stop there. So that's another video on the way. Mrs. Travelon, I tell you what, I think she's the queen of Lanzarote at the moment. Bloody dinners, hotel stays. I treated her to the Yiza, the Princess of Yiza. She's been waiting years for that. That cost me an absolute fortune. 253 euros a night. That was bed, breakfast and dinner. Whew. Mega money. We did enjoy it though. Mark, she's a princess. You just defend her, Mark. You're just like the, de the defense. <laughs> she has been spoiled. 
uh, web discount TTK. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, if you want a discount on the website, it's TTK. That'll save you some money. So we're heading now down to Player Club. So stay with us. Not far. Look, it's just at the bottom of this hill, but uh, just at the bottom of this road. And then we'll turn around. We'll see the Alba. And then we'll go down this road here. Look, um, and that will show you the Lanza, sir, and the Flamingo, and the Rio. And then that'll bring us down to the harbour area. And then from the harbour area, we'll walk along the front. Are you going past Mark and Mine Joyzer? No, I'm not going past Mine Joyzer today. But I've stayed at the Mine Joyzer when it opened, so I've done a full video on that. And you know where to find it. On the YT, on the YT channel. Oh, I've always wondered where the where the hotels and restaurant staff live in Lanzarote. Well, that's a big problem. Um, mainly they live, well, Playa Blanca has a massive problem with housing and they've just built this massive hotel as well. Um, and people are saying, look, it's a great big hotel, but where are people gonna live? Because I can tell you now, I mean, there's a lot of waste ground in this bit here, but all the way over there are sort of residential, but big villas. I mean, these are all big villas and are rented out as holiday homes. Um, and most of the villas and accommodation here in, um, here in Playa Blanca are holiday homes. So that's a big problem. But towards that area, there is some places set back a bit that are sort of um, residential areas. But again, people are renting them out as Airbnbs. So it's a massive problem. So in Playa Blanca, I don't know where they live, dotted around a little bit. Porta del Carmen, Costa de Guise, most people live in Arrecife, the capital, and they'll commute. And I guess uh, if they live, in, live and work in Playa Blanca, they commute. I mean, it's not that far a commute. It's 40, 45 minutes to an hour on the bus. Uh, 35 minutes driving. Good morning. morning How you doing? I'm <laughs> are you having a cycle? Bloody hell. On a Sunday morning, it's far too early. Yeah. Oh. yeah, so these guys live here, don't you? We do indeed. There you go. Look, so this is what it's like living here. Perfect. Unless you're like me and you have to bloody go walking every every month, every Sunday morning. Carrying all that gear. Carrying all that. But you haven't, you, where are you going today? Where are you heading? Oh, we've just been round. We've been down to um, Los Colorados. Yeah. We live at Faro Parking. Yeah. And we're heading back for breakfast. Fabulous. Well, have a good day. All right. Yeah. See you soon. Yeah. Bye bye. There you go. Look. They're dodging the scooters, look. This is what I mean about the scooters, look. Dumped. Dumped there. Disgusting. So, yeah, so there you go. We were talking about people living here. They live here, but they live up in Farrow Park area. Again, it's another place where residents live, but they, it's either residents like them guys um, that are either re retired, work from home, or um, semi-retired sort of thing, or they're rented out as holiday homes. So... It's a tough one. We are staying in Elba. Well, the Elba's here, look. We're going to have a look at that. How far is it from the beach? And I'm going to walk to the beach. So stay tuned and you'll be able to see exactly how far it is to the beach. And I'll show you the little, uh, the little uh, new park area that you can walk through as well. So I do apologise on the live if we're sort of just showing you a road at the moment. Um, but I'm going from place to place today. Just a different type of video that lots of people have asked. So I'll try and keep it as interesting as possible until we get down on the front. There's the Elba, beautiful hotel. And again, I've done a full video on that, on the YT, on the YouTube. And I'll tell you what, they let me have a look around there. The management, um, they didn't give me a room for the night or anything, but they allowed me to go free reign and have a good look around. And it was one of the best videos that I've made. Same with the Princess of Yaiza. Obviously, I paid for a room there for Mrs. Travelon's birthday. But that'll be an excellent video with loads of information because I'll show you properly. But then some of the other hotels I have to sneak in. So they're not as informative as I'd like them to be. And obviously, you can't see the restaurants and the food and the rooms. And that's why I ask you lot, if you're staying in one of the hotels, to invite me to come and have a little look around your accommodation. And we do a little thing called Terry's Talk. So all you need to do is get in contact with me. Uh, Mark did it. Mark is the moderator on here. He said, I'm coming to stop in a villa. Come and have a look. So we went and had a look around his villa. 
Um, Patrick's doing it when he comes on holiday. Neil's doing it. And all you got to do is show me around your room. We've got some beepers, we've got some beepers, look. <laughs> all you got to do is show me around your room and, uh, uh, and I'll uh, be able to show people more of the hotel, get some information. Drop me a comment um, or drop me a message and I can get in contact and we can arrange something and you get a free Mr. Travel On exclusive mug. Morning, Nicola. Oh, wish I'd known what Club La Blanca. Wish I'd known I was at Club La Blanca last week. <laughs> oh, bless. Uh, do you know how much the new hotel near? Well, the new hotel, I do a monthly update on that. Um, how much it is, I don't know. I've heard it's quite pricey. But I reckon you might get some deals for the sort of uh, opening. Right, there, look is the walkway down to the beach and the harbour from the Elba and the Player Club, or Club Player Blanca, should I say. So that's a new walkway that's been built, a little shortcut down there, lovely park area. That's like a five, five minute walk right down to the harbour, and I'll show you where that is in a bit. And it's a really nice walk, really easy as well. Um, so you're not far away, really, from everything. Once you get down to the harbour, you're on the front. You've got the Playa Blanca beach, and turn right and you've got Flamingo, about another five, 10 minute walk. Playa Dorada is a little bit more of a walk um, to the left. So you've got to walk all the way along the front, but it's not too bad. Oh. Whew. Have you been to Blue Bay Hotel? Not yet, it's on the list. It's on the list of things to do. So we're just heading just down here, look. And we're going to the Player Club, or Club Player Blanca, HL Club Player Blanca. Same uh, brand as the Paradise. And I'll tell you what, it's bloody roasting today. It is roasting. Uh, where are you, Player Blanca Lanzarote? There you go, Mark's already done the research. Look, 4,500 for two in the new hotel. Jeez, that's expensive, eh? That's expensive. There you go. So I don't know about uh, sort of stopping in these big hotels and, and these posh hotels. It is nice, it's a nice experience. I mean, we enjoyed it in Princess Eyes. and Mrs. Travel, I'm bloody loved it. Um, but you'll see in the video, I'll discuss a few things in the Princess Eyes Princess Eyes video that if you want that sort of service where you're waited on hand and foot, then that sort of hotel is ideal for you. For me, I'm far too humble to to do that you know what i mean um it's nothing bad if you if you like that sort of thing but for me um you know if someone says would you like me to do this for you sir would you like me to do that i'm like no i'll do it myself you're all right don't you worry <laughs> but that's just me right so this is the player hl club player blanca and this is the brand new gym let's see if i can take you in and show you because it's open on a sunday if i show you through the walk through the window look this is the brand spanking new gym. It's very posh. Now this isn't the gym I go to because it's too expensive. Now you can't see, but I thought it was open on a Sunday lot, but it's very posh. So this is brand new at the HL Club, Bla uh, HL Club Player Blanca. Um, you can't really see because of the bloody thing, but it's a massive gym, but it's 65 euros a month. I think they've well overpriced it. Oh, balls, I've just gone right the wrong way here. I can either sneak over there or go back. I think I'm gonna sneak. Because I've just jumped, I'm just gonna jump over this wall. There you go. Right, so we're here, look. This is a club player blanca. I'll just show you there, I won't show you inside. But there's, there's the entrance. And then through there, you've got the pool and everything at the back. Just sneak that in there, look, and have a little peek. Too many people around to go in. Morning. So I'll get you a little view over here, look, as well. Walk. Just uh, turn right at the end, and that'll take you down to town. Um, there it is, look, Club Blanca. Or you can come up this way, which is where we're going. 
and then cut through the little walkway where the park area is and you can have a little look a little walk down there and that'll take you down to the harbour and um, so it's not too far from town beach wise the furthest beach is uh, going to be Playa Dorada for you that's going to be quite a walk probably best off getting a taxi but down to the Playa Blanca town beach 10 minute walk uh, we stayed there in August fabulous Do you have to speak Spanish to get a job there? No, not really. Well, it depends what sort of job. Um, bars, restaurants, no. Uh, they prefer that you speak English for obvious reasons. <laughs> that you're dealing with tourists. Um, hotels, yes. You'd probably need to speak, speak a number of languages. Um, beneficial, because um, obviously they have English, German, French. If you speak English, German and French, you are pretty made. Made here, you can get quite a good job. Um, but when I say quite a good job, I mean, it's not great money out here, job-wise. If you're looking at, if you're looking at sort of 1,500 as a base salary a month, that would be take home. That's basically would be the sort of salary of, uh, maybe sort of hotel reception sort of about 1,500, 1,700 euros a month. But that's take home. Here it works a little bit different with salaries and wages. Whereas back home, you get a, a yearly salary and then you're taxed and that and your social security. The company that you work for actually pays the social security on top. So that's why it doesn't sound a lot, but the company are paying your social security and the social security is mega, mega money. So while they're paying you 1,500, realistically, they're like paying you 1,800 because they're paying your social security. That makes sense. Uh, where are we this morning? We're in Playa Blanca on a bit of a back street walk. So we're gonna head up to the Elba now, have a little look at the Elba. I'm gonna show you all the walkways to get from this end of town because um, I live around this area, just up there. So I'm going to show you all the walkways about to get from here down to the town. And you can get the local buses. So there is an internal bus. And then this is the new park area, look, which walks you right down to the harbour. We are going to the beach. We are going to the beach, yes. So this is the new park area. And that literally leads you right down to the harbour and essentially to the start of Playa Blanca, to the town. But what we're going to do today, we're going to just walk back up here and we're going to go down the other road because I want to show you the Lanza Sur Water Park, the Rio, uh, the Flamingo, because loads of you ask for that. Um, and they're big, big popular hotels. So the reason I'm doing this today is because when we do the lives, I always like to take you down the front and show you things nice rather than the roads here. But it's important for you to know sort of the walkways and how to get to places, especially if you're in this part of town, um, which a lot of you are, let's face it. Playa Blanca's sort of split up. You've got this part, you've got the main front part, and then you've got the part right up by the uh, Sandos Papagayo. So it's sort of three parts, really. So let's show you the Elba. Again, I've done a full video on my YouTube of the Elba. And this is a beautiful hotel, really like this. Although we did have a, I did have a guy that's here on holiday and he said uh, that his wife struggles with things to eat. So he wasn't very happy, but in his defense then, he spoke to the um, manager and they sorted it all out for him. So hopefully he's having a good holiday now. Um, but they, they put on a special menu for his wife and stuff. And I think there was an issue with some they run out, of, run out of booze or something one night. So I'm not sure, but I think hopefully he's sorted it out now and can relax a bit, a little bit and have a lovely holiday. So there's the Elba look. Four star, Royal Village, Premium Suites. Got a little water feature outside, look. I won't take you too far in because I might get told off. Although, they did let me do a full video before, so maybe I won't. Let's see if we can sneak in. Let me show you through the door. 
There you go. I'm not going any further than this. There you go, look. Lovely reception. All white look and the pool is just just out that way there. Just downstairs. Beautiful. But look at that, coming out your hotel, look. This is the start of your day, look. So there you go. Morning, you're right. Right, I'm going this way, this way. Uh, Amanda said this looks a bit far out. It it looks far out, but it's not, Amanda, because I've just shown you the walkway there, which takes you down to town in five minutes. So this is what people, this is why I'm doing this video, because people think this is far out. Uh, the Rubicon, we started, and it's took a little bit of time to get down here, but don't forget, I've been gassing all the way, and I've been going up roads to see different places. So it's not took us too long to get down here. So you can see just in the distance there as well, at the back of the HL um, Paradise Island, the big water park, that's the water park of the, um, of the Paradise Island. So we're gonna head this way and then cut down and show you the, where am I gonna show you? The Lanza Saw, the Rio, uh, the Flamingo. I'm gonna show you a few different places. Then we're going to walk down the front when i get to the harbour area i'm going to do a little time check and then we're going to walk along the front and then back all the way along the front showing you all the hotels and we'll get to back to the rubicon palace um, hotel so stay with us get yourself a cup of tea chill out relax it's sunday morning there's nothing else to do is there but come for a walk with me around Lanzarote. What, be what, be what a better way to spend your Sunday morning. Right, what we got, let's have a look. Mrs. Travelon is delivering soon, and she's out delivering. So Mrs. Travelon does all the, um, well, she's got a gift. gift oh, she had, we had a shop in Puerto del Carmen, many, well, just, we closed it just after covid um which was the best thing we ever did to be honest um but we were selling like gifts printed gifts photos on mugs mouse mats uh, personalized t-shirts that sort of thing to tourists uh, so it was up and down because it's seasonal and it was so much work and then covid struck so i said come on let's just close it and then we moved everything into the house and now we're just online and we deal with the residents we do uniforms well, Mrs. Travelon does uniforms, personalised gifts, and stuff like that. So we we really work with residents. Yes, less less uh, bookings and less things to make, but um, it was the best thing we did. But if you do want any Travelon merch and you're staying in Lanzarote, you can order on our website. It's diversionlanzarote.com, um, and we'll deliver it to you. Or on the YouTube channel, there's actually a shop where you can buy sort of mugs t-shirts and that sort of thing but it's a big company in england that do it and they're not, they're not cheap so don't think i've put the prices on there um but it's just a way because people always ask can i get a mug and stuff like that and if you're not coming to lanzarote and you don't want to show me around your room then that's the only way to get a mug and join the mug club <laughs> right so this road here is the road to town doesn't look very nice here look you've got some building work going on building some big villas look but that villa there will be as beautiful as that one when it's finished look so that's what it will look like and that's what it looks like now so they're building they're building a hell of a lot at the moment around uh, Lanzarote we've got a Lidl being built in Playa Blanca which is fabulous can't wait for that is there much for kids yeah there's lots for kids um, you can do Rancho Texas, which is the animal park and the splash park and the water park. Uh, you can do one of two water parks, one in Costa de Gizzi, uh, which is closed during the winter. So that'll close next month. But the Lanza Sur, which is where we're coming up now, the Aqualava, that's open all year round. So you can do that. You can do all sorts. Um, Playa Blanca as well, the hotels really cater for kids and families. So it's definitely a family resort, Playa Blanca. Um, if you like big hotels, you like kids entertainment, mini disco and that sort of stuff. 
Porta del Carmen, Costa de Guise, they do have those big hotels, but they're very much the find your own entertainment out of the hotel sort of thing. And there's lots to do there, lots of bars and restaurants and stuff. But definitely family resort, I would recommend Playa Blanca all the, all the time. How warm is it? Uh, I don't know, Mark, you're on holiday, mate. <laughs> What's the temperature? There you go, Mark's here, living the dream in Playa Blanca. And he's moderating. Cheryl will be going mad, Mark. She'll be going, we're on, you're on holiday. We're on holiday. Stop, stop messing with your phone. <laughs> oh. Right, let's have a look, let's have a look. So here we are. So this is the start of the Rio. This is where we're gonna get excited now because I'm gonna show you loads of stuff. Just passing our villa on the right, the new build. Is that your villa? No way. <laughs> you can catch this up on YouTube, by the way. Person that just said that about the villa on our YouTube channel. Um, this has been recorded in 4K, so you can catch up on that. Uh, trying to figure out the temperature in October. Just check in with me daily. I do the daily weather report, Monday to Friday, every morning. I'm up and about eight o'clock in the morning and I'll show you what the weather's like. And then sometimes try and tell you what it's gonna be like during the day, but it changes. <laughs> I'm usually wrong, but at least you can see more or less what it's like in real time, can't you? Is Mind's eyes are any good? Yes, so if you go on my YouTube channel, I've done a full video, I'll stop there the night, you'll see the room, you'll see breakfast, you'll see dinner, you'll see absolutely everything. Right, so let's have our butchers in here. So on this side, look, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, is the Aqualava, that's the big water park. Alfie went there for a birthday party yesterday and came back looking like he'd gone to war. Um, red as a beetroot, Mrs. Travelon dropped him off because that's what they do here with the kids' parties. They do big kids' parties. You drop the kids off and the parent of the kids sort of uh, hangs around and some of the other parents do and then the kids go off. And that is an ideal place for smaller kids because they can go off on their own. It's really cool. I'll show you that in a minute, but he come back Scratched all his leg, burnt to a crisp, but he'd had time of his life, so <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> he'd gone to war. So this is the holiday village. This is the Tui holiday village. Um, I am actually gonna, I'm gonna show you reception, and I'm gonna take a sneak up the back, back way, look. So there's reception there, look. Someone, someone just said I'm on that bus. Hello, Adam, I'm on that bus. You've got a big climbing wall there, look. That is super cool. So that place there, uh, they do th with the kids. So they go climbing up the, up the thing and then they've got a football pitch there and all sorts. But let's take you on a sneaky peek of the Rio. I'm not gonna go too far in for obvious reasons, um, but there is a little walkway here. So rather than walk for a reception, I'll show you the little bungalows. And if I get in trouble, I get in trouble, don't I? What are they gonna do? Uh, I'll be in the blue bush soon. We're in Playa Blanca Lanzarote, Canary Islands. So these, look, are the little bungalows. And the gardens are beautiful. Look, all the way up there, you've got little bungalows. And all the way up here, look. So this is like, um, it's like a big complex, but with like little bungalows set aside. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be doing this, but to be honest, Alfie used to do swimming lessons here, so they didn't mind you coming in for that. But if they chase me out, they chase me out, don't they? Little bungalows there, look. And there's bloody loads of them as well. You can see the numbers. Is that Tui Blue? No, Tui Blue we're gonna go to next. This is the Rio Holiday Village. So look, there's loads of numbers, look. one. Five three five 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 seven five nine five two, all the way up there. Look, beautiful garden areas though surrounding the villas. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you this way, and I'm just going to swing a right and show you the pool area, and then Scarpa, Scarpa, Scarpa. There's one. There's one of the little bungalows. Look, table and chairs outside. And uh, Nicola, who's one of the moderators on here, she showed us around her video, her villa. It's actually pinned on TikTok, it's the most viewed video we've got. And she showed us around here. But right, I'm gonna just go down here quietly. Because there's too many people around. But there's the pool area. 
There's the pool area there, look. And it's not too busy. There you go, look. So there's the pool area and the restaurant's down there. I can hear the knives and forks clacking and clacking. Let's get out of here. Uh, so that was the Ryu. That's the Ryu Holiday Village, part of Tui. There's another pool actually just up here, so did come on. Let's go. They've got a big entertainment place here, look. So this is a massive entertainment area and they do the shows in there. It's like a big theater. And, uh, oh, sorry, mate. And then just through here, just through here is another pool. Run, Forrest, run. <laughs> I do need to scarper in a minute. So there's another pool up here, look. Just up there, look. And there's also like uh, slides and stuff for the kids. And there you go, that's the Ryu Holiday Village. And again, I've done a full video of this place on our YouTube. Nicola showed us around her room, which was one of the posh rooms, the premium rooms. Um, took us a little bit around the hotel. Um, so you can go onto our YouTube and catch that. Uh, big, big hotel, very busy, very noisy, uh, very family. Um, has all your sort of kids entertainment and your Tui entertainers. But it seems a bit quiet for September because all the kids are back at school, aren't they? So you've only got the little ones here. We stopped there last year when it was Holiday Village. It's still called the Holiday Village. It's still called the Rio Holiday Village. Um, have I, did I call it something else? <laughs> I probably did, I'm going mad. Right, so let's get out of here. I'm gonna take you over to the Lanza, sir. I'm gonna swing down by Tim and Fire uh, Palace, H10 Tim and Fire Palace. Um, and then we'll head down the front. Can we have a time check? What time is it, guys? And then I'll decide which way I'm gonna go. Let's have a look, right, so let's get out of here. 9.57, oh, it's only 10 o'clock. Okay, cool. So there you go, we've been going an hour. Um, and I've been the long route showed you everything I can't wait to come out on the 24th what time is it over there same time as you Sean I just haven't got a watch on and my phone that I'm filming on doesn't show the time for some reason would be handy wouldn't it right let's go and have a look at Lanza Sur and the Aqualava and then we'll swing down past Tim and Fire which is a H10 we'll go past the, the Tui Blue and then you can decide where you want to send me you can decide where you want to send me then. Right, so there's the water park ahead, look. It's really nice. It's, it's smaller than the one in Costa de Giz, to Gizeh. The one in Costa de Giz is a lot bigger, but the one in Costa de Giz is old. Been there years. Um, could do with a refit, to be honest, but it's got bigger slides. Let's sneak you through here, look. Boom, so there you go. There's the main three slides with the toilet bowl. Uh, they're getting ready for the day. Look, I don't think it's open yet. 9.57, I think it's just opening. 10 o'clock, I think it opens. La Branda Alicia Suites, I've just passed. It's just up there. Um, so if you go onto my YouTube channel, this is being, being recorded in 4K. So it's live on TikTok and it's being recorded in 4K and you'll be able to see. So there you go, look. There's the main slides of the Lanza Sur. <laughs> He's just jumped in, look. <laughs> what a life, what a job. That's cool. So they're getting ready for the day. I bet they enjoy working there, don't they? You've also got a lazy river here, which I'll try and show you. Oh, we stay at the Alba, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, we've just been to the Alba. Who's that? Oh, look. It's Mrs. Travel on and Jack. Where are you going? All right, go, because you're going to get run over. See you later. <laughs> They're off out for the day. Filming by the pool. I never filmed by the pool. That's why I was very uh, quick in there. Uh, 
I was there last year. Is it open all year round? Yes, this one is open all year round, look. So this has got the lazy river there, look. So that's the lazy river. That's pretty cool. It's the only one with a lazy river as well. It's good to catch it in the morning, look, when it's just been set up. Thanks for your videos. They're really helpful. Family love it. Wish I was still there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you that watches the videos, that watches the lives. I'll tell you what, I created a bloody monster with this live on a Sunday. I do love it that you all tune in. <laughs> and we do get loads. I mean, we've got 670. We're usually on about 1,000, but like I said, I know the weather's good in the UK and, and things. Uh, and today's video is a little bit sort of spread out, isn't it? Um, usually when I do the videos, it's like one row and it's permanent entertainment, like I say before. Uh, so it's a little bit spread out, so I understand why there's not as many. But I do honestly really appreciate it. Let's just uh, just have a look, little look down there, look. So this is the entrance to Aqualava. One of the, uh, this is the entrance to Aqualava, look. So you come down here. If you're stopping at the hotel, it's all included. And then you'll come down here. You, you can get your tickets from us. You go and give your ticket there, look, and that's the entrance. So that's where you'll go through there. And if you're stopping in the hotel, well, you've got the whole water park every single day with your all-inclusive and everything. You can get your all-inclusive drinks and that. If not, you can book tickets on our website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarotti.com. It's the only aqua park that's open all year. Um, it's the only one with a wave pool and it's the only one with a lazy river. And it's ideal for smaller kids. If you're here in the winter with bigger kids, it's the only water park you can go to. Um, if you want to do a water park with bigger kids, the one in Costa de Guise is a little bit better, but it's older. Um, but it's got bigger slides like your kamikazes and stuff. That's open, I think, just this month. After this month, I think October the 3rd it closes. What's a lazy river? Well, a lazy river is where you lie on a float and the current of the water basically floats you around. Um, so you just lie, you just sort of sit back and chill out like a lazy person on a river. <laughs> That's why it's called the lazy river. Oh, will you be going to the beach? Yes, I'm heading to the beach now, Naz. Are you in Tenerife? No, I'm in Lanzarote. So look at that beautiful sea over there, look. Beautiful sea views. You've got Palmeiras Gardens there. You got the waterworks there, look. <laughs> Very interesting, isn't it? That's where we get all our water from in Playa Blanca. Um, can't wait to go back. Uh, how warm is it in November? November's usually very good. Um, the only hit and miss months are February, March, in my opinion. Um, and I base it on Christmas. Christmas dinner, we always have at home. And every year, Mrs. Travelon's like, it's too sunny, it's too sunny. Um, so we have Christmas dinner a bit later on. So December's always good. November's always good. Usually, usually. Um, but let's face it, the world is going mad with the weather. Is it climate change or is it interference? Hmm. My conspiracy hat says it's the latter. Because I just don't think all these things that are happening are happening without some kind of interference. Well, that's just me. <laughs> there you go, me and Mark. <laughs> that's just me and Mark. Right, let's have a look. Lanza Sir here, look. So this is the, well, we've just shown you the water park, and this is the Lanza Sir. So this is the hotel. So you get everything included with the water park, and you also get the hotel as well. Oh, look, see, there's a lot of people awake, you know. There's a lot of people awake, but like everybody else, everyone's scared to say things. Me too. You know, I've got business to run, so. I don't want to say too much. There you go, look, so there's the entrance to the Lanza Sur. This is the reception area. And there's the pool out there, look, it's looking very busy. I don't know whether I'd be in the pool or I'd be over in the water park. They do all the entertainment down there and there's a restaurant over there as well for breakfast. But it's lovely, it is a big, big place. And again, it's little bungalows, so it's not that hotel style. Now, if you go to the H. Centimifier, which I'm going to show you now, the adults only, 
that's very much hotel. Princess Eliza, very much hotel feel. Um, the ones that I've shown you, the Elba, the Rio, the Lanza Sur here, very much sort of um, little apartments dotted around. And that's very usual for Lanzarote. You don't get many big hotels like you would in Tenerife um, with the big, you know, the hotels, room, 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 rooms next to each other, basically, with corridors. Here, you get little bungalows that are spread out, and that's how it works. Um, even, even as far as sort of uh, Rubicon Palace, although you get that hotel feel, it's actually, uh, there's quite a few different blocks and things. So this is the Tomb of Fire. So what time did we say it was? Nearly 10 o'clock. Uh, no, it's 10, 10. So we've got an hour spending on the batteries. Um, let me have a think. Right, let's, see, let's, get, let's show you the Tomb of Fire first and the Flamingo. And then we'll decide what we're going to do. So this is the Tomb of Fire, look. You can see, look, we've got 710 on now because I'm showing you interesting things. But I did really want to show people this walkway of how to get from sort of your hotel in this area down to the beaches and stuff because uh, lots of people ask me so this is h10 love a bit of h10 adults only beautiful place Look how white it is love the design as well it's um it's a quiet hotel with it being adults only dare i say a more mature audience <laughs> don't want to offend anybody but it is a more mature audience here ideal for young couples though if you just want a chill holiday but if you're a young couple looking for a little bit more excitement this probably wouldn't be the place i would say rubicon palace would be better because although you've got the kids look it's a family hotel you have got adults areas and the elba as well has got an adults only section as well but this hotel is all adults only some adults are worse than kids they are so here we go there's a reception look absolutely gorgeous and i'm going to show you the pool from the other side on the walkway look but look at that bar area wow h10 is amazing h10 is so good look at that beautiful right let's head over to the player flamingo or the Flamingo Beach, and then, and then, then what? <laughs> then what? We've got an hour. It's definitely not going to take me an hour to walk back to the Rubicon. So let me think when we get to this part, and you can decide. Right, so, um, this is the back of the Flamingo, and this will lead us right down to Flamingo Beach as well. So how long is it going to take me to walk from that end to that end about half an hour so let me we'll have a little time check in a minute and see where we are so down there is going to be flamingo beach i'm going to show you that in a minute but i'm going to show you the tui blue here and then i'm going to turn around and show you a little bit more so at the side of the tui blue you've got the uh, football pitch that they do the kids sort of football and stuff through here um and I can actually cut down the side in a minute. So I've got a good plan now. So there's the side of the uh, Tui Blue Flamingo. During the winter, so during the summer, very British. Um, during the winter, very Scandinavian. The Scandi market takes that place over. Um, they come in the winter. In fact, if you go Gran Canaria, in the winter, 90% Scandinavian. Big market for the Scandies during the winter. Don't know why. Is, it, uh, is the weather good during this? Um, I don't know. Or is the weather really bad? Right, I'm just going to plug myself in, guys. One second. Let me have a look. Let's have a look here. Get me some power in the camera for the YouTube. Boom. Here, boom. There you go. Easy as that. I just need to check something on my phone as well. So, let's have a little look. I 
Let's have a look. Can you contact them, please? Because I have i haven't closed anything for the tent because you never told me to. Uh, right, here we go. Let's have a look. Right, so again, there's that blue bus and that one's taking people to the airport. So this is people's uh, last day as they head to the airport, look. Don't want to disturb them too much, but as a blue We're gonna go down the side here, look. And then I'm gonna take you down right on the front. So let's go. So Flamingo Beach there, and that's like, it's ideally located. So you've got the Iberia Star Park as well. We're gonna go and have a little look at that. Um, but I'm gonna take you down the front now, I think. But you need to decide which way you want me to turn. In fact, no, we'll do a bit of both. We'll do a bit of both. What time is it now, guys? Sorry. Literally staying here right now. Come and, come and find me, Fiona. Come and get yourself on the, uh, on the YouTube and the TikTok. Can you go to Calpe? Don't know where Calpe is. 10.23. Or 10.12, hang on, 10.12. <laughs> Brilliant, 10.12, so we've got a bit of time. I've just plugged the camera in. Are oh, you far from H10 Rubicon? I started at H10 Rubicon, Serena, um, and you'll be able to see on the catch-up on YouTube. This video will go onto YouTube later on today, and you'll be able to see the catch-up, so anything you've missed. But we're gonna head back to Rubicon, because that's where my car's parked. So if you hang around about another hour, I'll be uh, heading back in that direction. So let's have a look. That's the Tui Blue, and this is down to play a flamingo. It's gorgeous down here, look at this. In fact, um, no, I do, I do want to show you the, uh, the other side, so let's go this way. You're not going to decide, I'm going to decide, because I am going to go back that way anyway. There was a choice left or right, but I'm going to go left and right, because we've got plenty of time. So there you go, look. The beautiful player flamingo. Beautiful place, look. You can see all the way over to Fuerteventura and Los Lobos over there. Legends never die, did something in the sea there. That's put me off going in, legends never die. <laughs> I hate the beach anyway. So you've got some bars and restaurants there, which we'll show you in a minute. And then that is Playa Flamingo. So it's not too busy, is it? That's usually rammed, but then it is early. So let's go this way. What we're gonna do, we're gonna walk this way down towards the harbour area. Um, and then we'll swing back and we'll go, well, we'll walk back to the Rubicon, but along the front. So we'll do that. So we'll go this way first. I'll show you the Iberia Star. Morning, you I'll show you the Iberia Star, because that's a big hotel. And then when we get to the Irish Anvil and Popeyes and stuff like that, we'll turn back and come back this way and then walk all the way back to the Rubicon where I'm parked. How far is that from the market? Which market? There's a uh, Rubicon market. He's all the way at the other end. So probably from here, about a 45 minute walk, 40 minute walk, not too far though. Is that beach usually as busy as Dorado Beach? Um, well, it's smaller. So it's just as busy as Dorado really in the summer. But you can see people are set up, look. On the weekends, you get all the Canarians down, look, with all their special gear. They have everything for the beach. They've got all their tents and all sorts. Like I've said in other videos, I can't stand the beach or the sand. But maybe I should buy myself some gear. And we could do that. But I can't sit still. I cannot sit still. Even at the Princess Eiza, Mrs. Travelon was around the pool. I was like, oh, I, need to, I need to be moving around. I can't be lying down. Right, come on. Thanks for the videos, how close are you to what? Wetsuit and flippers, no thank you Mark. Uh, there you go. Beautiful look, beautiful. Look at them views. Lots of people out for a morning walk as well today. 
So this is the start of the Iberia Star. You'll see how big this hotel is. We're gonna walk to the bottom of it and then to the Irish Anvil and then come back. But this place is huge. This place is massive, look. So this is the adults only section of this hotel. And I think the premium section, you need a special key to get in there. But it's got like its own little beach, look. Very quiet in this area. Very quiet in this area. Bit of French bowls going on there, I think, maybe. Oh no, a bit of yoga. <laughs> I love a bit, of, a bit of hotel yoga. Gotta love it, look. And you see lots of towels out already. So this is a busy hotel. Come to Coraleco, I'll be going to Coraleco soon. I nearly just tripped up that cat then. There's a cat just down there. Uh, where are you now? We're right by the Iberia Star Lanzarote Park in Playa Blanca. Oh, was that Tropical Island? Love it. Yeah, Tropical Island's nice. Anywhere for water sports? Yeah, if you have a look on our website, excursionslanzarote.com, travelon.world, um, loads of water sports. You can do jet skis, parasailing here in Playa Blanca um, in Marina Rubicon. Or if you want to do jet skis over 40 minutes, they'll pick you up and take you to Puerto del Carmen, do the jet skis and then bring you back. So that's like a safari. Um, and then you've got parasailing and all that sort of stuff. So there's lots. So that's a little sneaky walk into that hotel there. And I'm gonna show you the main pool here. What's nice about the front of Playa Blanca is you can get to nose into these hotels, which is a bit different to sort of Costa de Gizzi and Puerto del Carmen look. Cause there you go, look. You can have a good old nose inside, look. And there's the Iberia Star. So it's like being inside, but not inside, isn't it? And lots of people, a few sunbeds free there, look. But the views here are splendid, look. Looking over to Fuerteventura. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, eh? You got the lighthouse over there. We're going to head back in that direction and we'll pass the Natura Palace and all sorts that way. So there you go, look. That's the Iberia Star Lanzarote Park. And it's not ended yet because there's another section, a whole new section just down here. Yeah. So if you haven't already, make sure to like this channel and subscribe to this channel uh, with the little plus button. And please, if you could head over to my YouTube channel, we're really close to 10,000. Morning. Morning. I've got someone waving at me. <laughs> Stay there. Where are you going? Going for a walk? I've just been for a walk. You've just been for a walk. Where are you stopping? Below oh, I've just walked past that. Is it any good? Yeah? Huge. It's massive, isn't it? But it's long, isn't it? And there's all different pools. Where are you from? Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough. Did you think of Chubby the other night? Were you at Chubby? Is that behind, behind you? you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Were you behind me there? Yeah. Oh. The wind. You should have bloody said hello. Well, you didn't say hello. <laughs> I, don't, I, I do, I do recognise you now because I walked past you. you. Did you like Chubby Brown? He was good, wasn't he? Really good. He was really very good. good. Really good. And what's your names? Lisa, Stuart. Lisa and Stuart. Well, Lisa and Stuart, you're on YouTube on this one, okay? <laughs> so you're famous now. Up the, up the butter. Yeah, love it. <laughs> Have a lovely time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see you later. Bye, bye. 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 I thought I recognised them. They were at the Chubby Brown thing. Yeah, the Chubby Brown, uh, like I said, we went to see Chubby Brown live. Morning. Morning. How are you? You all right? Fine. Thanks. We follow you on the YouTube. Do you? Yeah, no, Brilliant. Right. Well, look, you've got on YouTube now. Look, you're getting recorded on there. <laughs> Where are you guys staying? The last breeze is that yeah. by the bus station, yeah. but you just come down for a walk today, just or you're heading to the walk. beach. We just come for a walk. Fab, and where are you from? Um, well, we live, we, we live in Liverpool. Liverpool. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Fabulous. Well, look, have a lovely time. Yeah. You'll be catching. You'll be on YouTube later on today. Look. Right. Say hello to everyone. See you later. Yeah. Bye, bye. Yeah. Lovely yeah. to meet yeah. you. Bye. Uh, yeah, no, Chubby's gone. Uh, Chubby Brown's gone, but it was a great show. Now, he's not everybody's cup of tea, and there was a lot of controversy about him coming. But, yeah, he was very blue, because that's what he does. Um, a little bit offensive, but that's what he does. But as he said in his, in, his, in his show, he said it's just comedy, you know? And it's, very, it's a very dangerous world when you can tell people what they can and can't find funny. And that's the situation that we're in at the moment that 
only one opinion matters at the moment and only one thing matters at the moment and it's a very dangerous world if you can tell someone you cannot find that funny and you cannot like that kind of humor um it's it's very it's a very dangerous sort of world that we're in but he did say that and everyone cheered so there is a lot of people that that agreed with what he says so there's the uh the kids area there look so that's got a little water slide and stuff great little water slide there so they, we're still on the uh, iberia star park 100 percent agree yeah you know if you don't like if you don't like chubby brown or you don't like that type of comedy it's very simple you don't go and see it do you do you know what i mean i don't like art galleries so i don't go and see them <laughs> but i don't walk into art galleries and say how dare you be looking at this art this is not i don't agree with it it's a very we're in a very very dangerous time at the moment and it's nice to see on here when i do sort of get me conspiracy theory hat on that lots of you agree um i think there's more people awake than we think and if you are one of them people like me that i think i'm awake you know i'm questioning absolutely everything at the moment um but i do sometimes feel like i'm the only person <laughs> you know when you look around you think why am i the only person that thinks like this but there is a lot you're not alone the fact of the matter is everyone's scared to admit or everyone's scared to say what they think and what they believe in because we've all been silenced we've all been told to shut up otherwise x y and z and you can you can lose your business you can lose your reputation you can use lose everything you can lose your job so people just shut up and i think it's the wrong thing to do and i'm holding back you know i'd like to say a lot of things but i don't want to lose this channel i don't want to lose my job my business so anyway there's a conspiracy theory for you morning you all right Hello. let's get back to something nice <laughs> let's get back to something nice that's exactly what i think i think i'm the only one well you're not mate trust me and you should create a backup account yeah i should create a backup account to be honest i keep i don't keep i keep everything very very normal um so i'll try not to get in, get myself in trouble however we did do a video showing uh, rancho texas with the dolphins and that was reported left right and center so again people that didn't agree with animals in captivity and dolphins um which if you don't agree with that that's fine you know i understand it is some places are bad but the dolphins at rancho texas were actually rescued from a really bad situation and there's two choices they could either let them free in the ocean to die or build a beautiful enclosure for them here and they do like a educational presentation there it's like a show but it's not like they're jumping through hoops and stuff like that that does your sports your fish and chips there's <laughs> someone waving up there someone's up there look your sports your fish and chips amazing fish and chips in there hello how are you i'm coming round. so up there you've got a few places up there got a new place called the office and i'm going to turn around now because this lady's waving at me is she is she on tiktok so say hello to her what's her name hello sherry, hello, sherry. And what's your name ruth. ruth and where are you stopping ruth oh that's up that way isn't it any good it's so basic but nice isn't it fab and what are you doing today yes fabulous we'll say hello again hello. there you go and you'll be on youtube there so you'll be you'll be recorded it's live on tiktok and then it's on youtube a little bit later on lovely to meet you thanks very much have a lovely day bye so there we go so we're going to walk as far as this corner and then we're going to turn around um, and then head back in that direction and head back to the rubicon because that's where i parked so you've got a kebab house there pizzas and kebabs get your pizzas and kebabs out how you doing you all right oh it's bloody hot there you go kebab house and pizzas and then you've got the corner bar there and then in that way you've got town and in that way you've got the harbor and the ferry so you can get the ferry there okay see you later mate <laughs> so you've got the ferry down there look and that's where you can get the car ferry you can get the Linnaeus Romero ferry that will take you over to Fuerteventura. And again, you can get all your tickets and everything on there. Um, you can get everything everything on on there from um, from our website, travelon.world and excursionslanzarotti.com. 
Popeye's food is great. Yeah, Popeye's was great food. Fish and chips, very sort of pub pub food. Uh, the fish and chips, I think, is one of the best. However, Mark, the moderator, said he went to a place in the sun and enjoyed the um, the fish and chips there. So I've got to try that as well. So let's head back towards the H10 Rubicon, which is where I've parked and where we started today. And we've been on a bloody mission, haven't we, around Playa Blanca? Next week, I'm definitely back up towards Porta del Carmen Way. I know you lot want a plane landing live as well, which we need to organise. See the planes landing. Places, place in the sun is best for sure. There you go. <laughs> Lauren likes place in the sun as well. That's two, two people that said that. I'm going to have to try and get in with them and I have a little try. Uh, when will the Princess Yaza video be ready? Oh, do you know what? I spent, I spent about six hours editing uh, yesterday. So it won't be too long. Um, so it's a lovely walk along here, look. Absolutely beautiful walk along the Playa Blanca promenade. And behind me, morning, behind me you've got the town. And then along here you've got like the hotels and it leads you up to Playa Flamingo. And it's just a great place to walk. That Puerto Chico, or Puerto Cinco there, Chico, Chico. That's a little complex as well. I've never been in there but it's got some like little bungalows and stuff that look really nice. <sighs> bare feet, bare feet walking. I'm not, I'm not walking with bare feet. Was somebody walking with bare feet then? Did I miss that? <laughs> Fair play to them. They do say if you walk with bare feet, you, uh, it brings you some kind of special power. <laughs> I read some nonsense, don't I? But if you connect with the earth and the grass and stuff, Apparently, it like, really does help you, better, uh, better, you benefits your health because you're like connected to the Earth's energy. I'm bloody barking mad, ain't I? You'll see me one day in some hippie, con hippie camp. I'll just be there meditating <laughs> in a funky sort of uh, trousers, with them baggy trousers. <laughs> oh, I'd love to go off grid. I would love it. Imagine going off grid, not needing anything, growing your own food, you're at get, having your own water and electric. Oh, if you like that program they had back in the old days, the good life, I'd love it. Problem is I can't be bothered. I tried growing potatoes. In fact, I, I started growing, um, morning, you're right. I started growing tomatoes and cucumbers and potatoes. And uh, by the time I'd finished, I probably spent about 100 euros. <laughs> I got one crop out of it, um, so it was very expensive. <laughs> it was very expensive, but it was a bit of fun. Yes, middle of nowhere with no neighbours, that will be bliss. Do you live there? Yes, I do. We're going there in two weeks. Thank you very much, Rachel. Oh, very, thank you very much, Neil. I thought Rachel had mentioned that. Uh, my son and girlfriend is there in Dreams Dorada. That's behind me. That's all the way at the other end. But again, a beautiful hotel. So there's lots of people about this morning, on a Sunday morning, having a walk. Morning. Hello. Loads of people. Oh, he's got a pipe, look. He's smoking a pipe. God, I haven't seen somebody smoke a pipe for many years. Pipe smokers. Bloody hell, that was something the, in the past, wasn't it? Anybody smoke a pipe? I've never... <laughs> I was there about three weeks ago, miss it so much. What's Paradise Island like now? Paradise Island, Paradise, we've just done Paradise Island. So if you catch up on YouTube, you'll be able to see Paradise Island. Uh, any ideas when you're gonna do Fortaventura? Yeah, I'm gonna get over there, Paul. I'm gonna try and get September out of the way. Um, Cause September's looking quite busy. And then I reckon sort of October, November, December, I'll be doing a lot in Fortaventura, going over for a couple of days stopping over there and things like that doing a few hotels doing a few walks around there so we're definitely on for a bit of Fuerteventura in soon um, October is the best month for me sort of now after September it should calm down and then October November is great I'll be able to go, get out and about and go to different islands um, and then December I'll be busy with Christmas and then January February well the weather's crap but I can still do quite a bit can't I there we go, look, back by the Ibira side. So that wasn't too, 
too long, was it? It's a bloody monster hotel. Good morning. How are you? You all right? <laughs> what a lovely place to be sat, look. People watching. I could do that, you know. I know I said I can't, I can't sit still for five minutes. I can't sunbathe like that. But I could do a bit of people watching there. If I brought my mother down, she could do a bit of people judging. We took her to the Princess Yaiza when me and Mrs. Travelon stopped there. And uh, the next day I said to the kids, come on, do you want to come down, have a look at the hotel? And we'll spend an hour down the pool. And they came down. And my mother came down and sat on a bed and just basically nosed at everybody. Just nosy Parker she is. Can't keep her beak out of anybody's business. And she was just lay there, looking around. Looking around. <laughs> She'll be going mad. See, she's got she's got people defending her now, Patrick and Mark. Mark met her the other day. Bloody hell, she's barking mad. She'll be on. My mum was like that, there you go. <laughs> A professional people watcher, professional people knows her, she is. She does more than knows her, and God help you if you get talking to her. Oh, look at that, YouTuber's there, uh, wasn't recording then. If you're on YouTube, we're back. I was just taking the mickey out my mother, so she's there. Uh, good job it never recorded, that must have been fate. <laughs> out there in two weeks, just booked all our trips with you. Brilliant, Andy, thank you so much, mate. Uh, Hello! <laughs> uh, you're on TikTok now, look, stop! <laughs> stop, where are you going? To the harbour, where are you stopping? Yeah. What, what hotel, yeah? yeah. Oh, is it nice? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Like <laughs> it's massive. Is it? What's your name? Jesse. Jesse yeah. and Bradley. Jesse and Bradley from Ireland, yeah? From Ireland, yeah. Brilliant. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> See you later. Have a lovely day. Bye. Stopping at the Rubicon Palace, eh? Can you see the Natura Palace from there? Yes, I'm heading towards the Natura Palace, Connor. There you go. Look, we're back. We're back at Flamingo Beach. Look, a few more people. I'm not walking as far as the lighthouse, but the lighthouse is there, look. See right in the distance. Are you near Relaxia Lanza, sir? Okay, we've done Lanza, sir, this morning. So again, on the YouTube channel, go over to my YouTube channel, travelon.world, subscribe to that, and this video will be uploaded there, the whole live, two hours worth, and you can skip through it to the bits that you wanna see, and you'll be able to see everything that we've been and seen today. So we did Lanza, sir, this morning, yes. But we're not going back. Arrive next Sunday, staying at Acora Lanzarote Suites. I can never pronounce that. It's got an E in it after the A. I think it's Acora, uh, but it's a nice place. You'll enjoy that. That sort of Matagorda for Sios, way well, Porta del Carmen. Beautiful. Oh, it's a gorgeous day today, guys. But I know you've had great weather back home as well, haven't you? Are there any adults only beaches? Um, no. Not really, legend never dies. What are you up to on the beach, mate? <laughs> what are you up to on the beach, Mr. Legends Never Die? There isn't any adults only beaches, however, there is some nudist beaches in Papagayo. So head your way up there, you might get some action. <laughs> Can we see the adults only beach? I don't, they're, they're, I'm not walking all the way back there. They're not adults only anyway, they're just nudist beaches. Good nightlife. Um, nightlife in Playa Blanca is not great, to be honest. Uh, the, you've got a few bars and restaurants with some live music and stuff like that. But Porto del Carmen's definitely got more nightlife than Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca tends to have the bigger hotels with the entertainment in the hotel. Um, but there's still some nice, you know, you've got the beach bar, um, you've got the Papagayo Centre. There's entertainment and stuff down there. Um, you've got some DJs in like Waikiki's and stuff like that. The old mill where Chubby Brown was. Um, they do entertainment. So there is entertainment here, but not as much as Porta del Carmen. Porta del Carmen, you can walk down the street, the strip and see loads of stuff going on. So I miss this place. We're there in 2009 in a villa. Um, let's have a look. So on, down on this front, you've got a lovely restaurant here, look. That's just opening for the day with amazing views. 
and overlooking Papagayo here. You got loads going on. Two weeks, can't wait, brilliant. Green Grill restaurant, that's part of the Flamingo Hotel. This is popular, look. Lots of people getting a drink in here. Morning, you're right. Morning. Morning. <laughs> so I think that's part of the Tui Blue as well, that place there. I'm not sure if you can use it as your all-inclusive, but it seems to be that way because uh, there's quite a few people queuing. Um, but the restaurant you can use, you can book the restaurant if you're on all-inclusive at the Tui Blue. So we had a look at the front of the Tui Blue, didn't we? This is the back of it. And this is where we walk through. So just up there is where the pool is, or one of the pools. And then here, just over there, look. We get a little bit higher up. Morning. Morning. You can see Flamingo there, look. And here's the famous Love Locks. Should we go and have a look at the Love Locks? We'll go this way, look. So these are the Love Locks. Where are you, mate? I'm in Playa Blanca, just at the Flamingo Beach. And here's all the Love Locks, look. They haven't moved them yet. Sometimes they cut them down. But there's loads of them, look. There's some people putting one on, look, I think. Oh, look, there's somebody doing it there, look. So you write your name on a Love Lock. And then you Hello. stick it on here, look. There you go. How you doing? Are you doing a Love Lock? Yeah. yeah, fabulous. Say hello to TikTok. Hello. <laughs> there you go. Look, they'll be doing that. And then uh, that one's look. That's all fallen down. So the weight, the weight of it, has dropped the uh, the railing there. You'd think they'd just fix that and cut them off, but they are getting quite rusty. Them ones. So there's a big argument with them of whether or not they're uh, a nice thing to do or actual like basic vandalism because it does ruin the railings but I think it looks it doesn't look too bad does it what are your thoughts do you think it's bad or do you like it uh, but there's loads doing it but they did cut them down Cute idea. I think it's cute. <laughs> Where are you? Playa Blanca Lanzarote. Yeah. You'd have to get a big love lot for these chains, wouldn't you, on these ones? They could fix it though, couldn't they? They could fix the problem by just putting massive thick chains on. Then you're not going to put anything on there, are you? Stayed at H10 in front of you two weeks ago. Yes, so we did, we walked past the H10 Tim and Fire Palace, didn't we? The adults only. This is the back of it. And like I said, this is why it's great walking down the Playa Blanca front because you get to see the hotels and have a good nose inside them without actually having to go in. So let's have a look. You can see a little bit of uh, the lighthouse there, look. Montaña Roca in the distance. Beautiful place. Are you near H Club Playa Blanca? No, we did that earlier. Again, if you go on the YouTube, you'll see a whole catch up. And we went up that end earlier. What we did, if you just joined us and you're a bit late, we started at nine o'clock in the morning up at Rubicon Palace, which is where we're heading now. And then we walked all the way down, showing you Princess, um, Princess Yiza. I'm going mad, showing you Paradise Island, Club Player Blanca, the Elba, and just showing you how far it is to walk down to the main town. So you can catch that up on YouTube. That'll be up about about six o'clock this afternoon, maybe maybe earlier, and I'll get that up so the whole catch up will be on there. And here is the H10 Tim and Fire look. Beautiful hotel, adults only. No kids, proper peaceful, proper peaceful here. Let me just sneak past these two. And there you go, and I can get you right in here, look. We can see the pool. Looks like Bradford. <laughs> Bloody hell, I'll have, to, I'll have to be visiting Bradford. There you go. Lovely place. Look at that. Big glass windows, look. Beautiful pool. Gorgeous. 
Oh, I think they might be doing some water aerobics in there. Mrs. Travelon did a bit of water aerobics at the uh, Princess Eyes, that's on video as well. She ain't getting away with that. There you go. Look at that, beautiful. What hotel is that just joined? So this is the H10 Tim and Fire Palace in Playa Blanca Lanzarote. It's beautiful, it's adults only, and it's a H10. And we know that H10 are really nice, aren't they? Let's face it. That's the big pool bar there, look. That's where you get all your food and drink. And there's restaurants in there. H10 are great, love them. I've stopped in a few of them and done quite a few videos. They actually let me in. All I, I've got a contact at H10, so I can email him and he really sorts things out for me. I say, oh, I'd like to go and have a look around this hotel and he's on it. Some of the other hotels I've, I've emailed and asked and it's just a pain, an absolute pain. There you go, look, lots of people there. Wow, it's beautiful. I love watching the walk, the walks in the spoon. Is the spoon back? Yes, it is, Sarah. The spoon is back. Beautiful, look at that. I actually, because uh, I'm walking and looking at the screen on the phone, I actually look at the phone, I think, wow, that's gorgeous. Well, I, I see what you guys see <laughs> on the phone. I, I'm sort of focused in on that. I don't see what's around me. But when you look, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, the spoon, somebody put the spoon back. I went there in Lanzarote, fabulous. Morning. Morning. So there is Montaña Roca. There is the beautiful blue skies, look. Couple of clouds in the sky, but nothing major, is it? It's roasting. Beautiful. Lovely beach area here. Little rocky beach. The locals all come down here, look. And they come down these little steps and they perch themselves down there. Do a bit of snorkeling and swimming. It's just beautiful, look. Playa Blanca, in my opinion, out of all the places in Lanzarote, I think is the most picturesque of the, of the places, especially along the front. Porta del Carmen's obviously a little bit more entertaining, and don't get me wrong, the views in Porta del Carmen are stunning as well, but you have got a lot of bars and restaurants um, along that front, haven't you? Whereas here, you've got the bars and restaurants, but it's very, very, very picturesque. And Costa de Guise, very nice walking along the front. We did that last week, but it's very spread out. Whereas here, you can literally walk the length of Playa Blanca and everything you see is gorgeous. Well, depending on which angle you look at. You don't want to look at this angle, look. <laughs> That's the waterworks, which I showed you earlier. <laughs> but if you keep looking this way, you're rocking and rolling. It's posh. Uh, yeah, Play I guess Playa Blanca is the posh resort out of all three. I guess it is. Um, yeah, I don't like to use that word posh because it's not posh. I mean, it's Playa Blanca, but it is the posher of the of the place because it's got the more big hotels, I think, and it's a little bit more expensive to come here. Um, whereas in Porto del Carmen, you've got a lot of sort of um, not cheap hotels, but a lot of sort of self catering places, which are obviously cheaper. What do you mean by that exactly, Connor? I didn't, I didn't say it was posh, Connor. Somebody else said it was posh. But it's certainly the more, the more, it's not upmarket. Posh is the word, I guess you could use the word posh. It's definitely, definitely out of all the resorts, it's a different type of clientele down here. Porta del Carmen's more lively, more action, more people that like to go out socializing, drinking, you know, try the different bars and stuff like that. Playa Blanca is a little bit more reserved, more people that like to stay in hotels, have a nice meal out and stuff like that, and a little bit more chilled. Um, and Costa de Guise, again, is very similar to Porta del Carmen. Um, people that like to go out, have a bit of a boogie, you know, um, get a few drinks in the bars and restaurants and things. Um, but it is very chilled here in Playa Blanca. Um, but there you go. Different people like different things, don't they? Yeah, we'll have to do a video, won't we? Because um, it gets everyone arguing what's the best resort, Playa Blanca, Costa de Guise or Porto del Carmen. I still keep promising to do the video of what's the best island. But, well, more, more Lanzarote te Tenerife. Because I love Tenerife and I love Lanzarote as well, obviously. But um, there's pros and cons to both. 
definitely pros and cons to both of what you prefer so it, it does cause a little bit of arguing but it's not arguing is it just people discussing things it's only arguing when the snowflakes get upset about it <laughs> then it's arguing all right beautiful views this way look do you live in Lanzarote yet there it is Mr Travelon how are you mate there you go nice to meet you I'm all right you're live on TikTok look say hello hello where are you stopping um, we're at the Lanzarote Princess that's that way, isn't yeah. it? So you've been on a long walk? I just went for a wee walk this morning. A, a wee walk? Aye. That's a bloody long walk from there. How long's that took you? About 40 minutes? Um, just about an hour out there. Um, wow. And we're on my way back. Fab, what's your name? Uh, Joe. Joe, well, look, Joe, I'm recording you here on YouTube and you're live on TikTok to 500 people. So, so, and what's your name, my darling? Elaine. Elaine. So Joe and Elaine, and where are you from? Uh, we're from a place called Port Glasgow. It's about 20 miles from Glasgow. Yeah. On the west coast. Wow, fabulous. Well, we've seen you on a bit bike. Yeah, brilliant. Lovely to <laughs> meet you. Mate. Have a lovely Cheers. day. All right, see you later. Oh, there you go. I meet loads of people from Scotland. Morning. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh my gosh. They've just climbed the mountain. Hey, from Scotland. Look, Lizzie's from Scotland as well. Yeah, there's lots of people from Scotland here. Lots of people from Ireland as well. Loads of Irish people. Um, I, um, Porta del Carmen's very popular for Irish visitors. They love Porta del Carmen. There's loads of Irish bars in Porta del Carmen. Um, but in saying that, every sort of live that I do and walk around Playa Blanca, there's a lot of Irish people down this area now as well. So um, there's only two Irish bars here, I think, Irish Anvil. Maybe there's three. Um, but yeah it's a popular place and Sc uh, scotland lots of people from scotland here as well obviously loads of brits uh what else french loads of french german have tend to calm down a bit there's not many people from germany um here lately that market sort of died spanish market's crazy in the summer loads of people come from mainland spain especially after covid because people are a bit scared to go further afield so the Spanish like to come here because it's their own language, um, it's close to home, and it's it's basically like a staycation, isn't it? But a little bit further out, it'd be like us. It'd be like people in the UK going to the Isle of Wight. But there's, there's loads of Spanish, and that's what's push. That is what's making, well, especially this summer. That's what's making um, the island so busy. Is the influx of Spanish people not going further afield but staying more canaries that's why it's been so busy uh, i've done five days in porto del carmen and five days in playa blanca in july i prefer playa blanca there you go andy we're definitely gonna have to do a little video aren't we which is the best resort <laughs> we can even add arecife in there because arecife has become really popular now as a place to stay and that's the capital morning right so we're heading down here look and we're going to see the Natura Palace and then we're going to walk all the way back to the Rubicon Palace which is where I parked the car I don't know how I'm going to get from the back of the Rubicon Palace to the front of the Rubicon Palace um, there better be a shortcut because I'm knackered <laughs> stayed at the Natura Palace Natura Palace is beautiful what's the best way to get from the airport down to Playa Blanca airport down. Uh, right airport down to Playa Blanca if you go on my YouTube channel cheapest way to do it is the local bus and i'll show you on the youtube channel me and jack got the local bus we went all the way up the airport and we got the local bus down to playa blanca stops you at the main bus stop so you'd have to get a taxi from there to your accommodation i think it costs 350 each um, and it took an hour amazing service and the, uh, the buses are about every half an hour other than that you can book a transfer private transfer and um, drop me a message i'll send you a link for that one um, we do work with a company that do private transfers and um, they're a great company but their website you can only select certain hotels so I need to sort that out because a lot of people stay in private villas um, and then the other one is a taxi taxi is probably going to cost you about 50 55 euros depending what sort of end of player blanky you're in so they're the options to get down here but if you have a look on there on YouTube I've done a full video on all the different ways to get from the airport to to resort in pdc now how much taxi to you 
um, about, about 40, 45 euros. Or get the local bus, even easier. Someone's going on Wednesday, fabulous. Dave, can you do the front of H10 just after the tour? Yeah, I've parked there, mate. That's where I've started this morning. So um, if you catch up on YouTube on this, it's right at the start of the video. So here's the Natura Palace look. I think this is adults only as well. It's beautiful. I love the flowers look that are hanging off the balconies. It's gorgeous. I'll get you a better view now. So this is a Hippotel, Hippotel Hotel. I think it's a four star. Could be wrong, but it's beautiful. Look, there you go. And get you right over there to have a little browse. Lovely place. I'll take you up these stairs, get you a good old view, look. Don't want to disturb people. There you go, look. Gorgeous, there's some people coming out here, look. And there's the cat, look. What a life, look how fat that cat is. That's because they get fed. <laughs> they know what they're doing, don't they? I tell you what, I might come back as a cat. An off-grid cat, they're off-grid, aren't they? Especially in Lanzarote, they get fed by the tourists. There's a lady that comes down and feeds them every day. Beautiful, look at that hotel, absolutely gorgeous. And that's a Natura. That's a Natura. So it stretches all the way down here, look. And then there's another place just here, right next door, um, where some bars and restaurants and stuff. And a little bit more wildlife over here, look. I don't know what birds these are. Anybody know what birds they are? But they're pretty cool. They look, they're on search for like lizards and stuff. And if they see a lizard in the wall, um, that beak goes right in and they've I've seen them like swallow the lizard whole I don't know what birds they are but there's loads of them in Lanzarote they're really cool beautiful like David Attenborough ain't I like David Attenborough what's the island on your left right let me tell you so over there you've got Fuerteventura and then between Fuerteventura you've got Los Lobos Los Lobos is an uninhabited island. Nobody lives there. There is three houses on there, but when I say houses, they're more like, like beach huts um, that are owned by locals. They're the only people that have got there. There's one restaurant on there that does either meat or fish, nothing else. Um, and you can get there either by heading over to Fuerteventura on the ferry and then jumping on the taxi boat, or you can go over on the speedboat. And again, on our website, excursionslanzarote.com, travelon.world, you can book the low bus. It will pick you up from your accommodation, takes you to Porta del Carmen Harbour. You'll go on a speedboat over to low bus, spend the day in low bus, little picnic um, over there, and then they'll bring you back. So that's a cool thing to do if you want to see Los low bus, which is literally just over there. And this is the best time to do it as well. August, it's too hot um, and too busy. Whereas now it's a little bit cooler and it's a great time to do it. No shade over there. I'm saying that's no shade here. My head is on fire this morning. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, you can use TTK for a discount. Does that speedboat tour? I've done that speedboat tour. tour. Have you done that one, Mark? Yeah, it's good. Right, so we are, there's another little beach here. You've got a dive college there. And at the beginning of the video, I showed you some of these restaurants, I've pointed them out. Now we're at the back of them, look. So that's pretty cool, look. You can see the divers under there. That's clever what they've done there. Good advertising, good advertising. This place here belonged to the Natura Palace, I think. And it was a really cool sort of cocktail bar. It's never opened since, um, since COVID. I'm almost tempted. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm almost tempted to get, get a bar open there, but I don't think I could be bothered. Sebastian's there, look, so that's the Greek restaurant. There's a Greek restaurant there, Sebastian's. And then this place has recently been refurbished. Um, I've never been there, never heard anything about this place, but it's massive, Natura Beach. Has anybody been here? Is it any good? I've never seen anybody in it either, and it's such a big place. There's a couple of people there, I think. 
morning. But it's such a big place, great views as well. Beautiful food at Sebastian's. Yeah, I've heard Sebastian's is good. Oh, there's Stokey Stokey's on. Stokey's been here a few times. Uh, so yeah, beautiful view, view, view at Sebastian's, but I've never heard anybody sort of promote this place here. Natura Beach, it's called. I think it's part of the hotel, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it's lovely, we stopped there for a drink and a play area for the kids at the back. Oh, there you go, brilliant, thank you. Shall have to get there. I've been, food was great and service with a smile, there you go. Where does the path end? The path ends all the way up to the lighthouse, but you can walk further. You can, morning, you're right. morning. you can walk all the way to the abandoned hotel, which I've done a video on as well. And that was a spooky place, the old abandoned hotel. So this is the uh, Rubicon Palace, the H10, where we stopped, well, where we started this morning at the front. Yeah, we, it could do with like opening a sort of cafe lola place, um, like like that, couldn't it? That bar would be great for that. Oh right, right. I'm going up a hill now. My legs are about to pop. Right, so this is the kids' club of the Rubicon Palace, the H10, and this is basically the the back of the H10 Rubicon. Favourite hotel in Playa Blanca, this one kind of by far, H10 Rubicon Palace. Love this hotel, it's massive. It's like a little village, but a five star village. Mind you, they could do with sorting this fence out, couldn't they? Be nice to have something a little bit more. I don't know, well, what could they do? It's a bit rusty, isn't it? I suppose it's only the walkway, but I did like the glass in the Iberia Star, that looked nice, and the wall. The wall, I mean, I'd just take that fence down. I mean, if you want to get in the hotel, you're going to get in the hotel, aren't you? The Tim and Fire Palace has only got the wall. So you could just climb over that if you wanted to get in, let's face it. But there is a place here, look, which I've just walked past. I just heard the birds. In here is a big aviary. And there's loads of lovebirds in there. Can you hear them? No. The, there's, they're not caged in there because they can get out and sometimes they go off flying around Playa Blanca we had, we had a couple land in our garden once and they're from here so they're sort of free but not free if that makes sense here you've got the spa this is open to the um, is it thundering in Bristol? bloody hell Neil this is uh, the gym of the H10 Rubicon and the spa Despacio or Dispacio, sorry. <laughs> Here's a little picture of it. Again, I've done a little video showing that on the YouTube, and that is open to the public as well. You can actually come down and use this spa. I think it's 15 euros. I think, could be wrong. Uh, big up Bristol. I'm here on Thursday, buzzing, fabulous. Best city in the UK. I don't know where the best. Sunshine in Essex, there you go. Yeah, look, I'll show you this. So this is the spa area, look. Just through this fence. So you've got like a thalasso spa that goes out there and you can just chill on the beds. 15 euros for the for the for the day, I suppose, or for as long as you as long as you're there. So I've parked at the front of the uh, H10. Here, I ain't gonna walk through, but I have got to find myself a back. I've got to find myself a back way of getting around here. We'll walk a little bit further and I'll see if I can get get up the side. But there you go, look, look at all that the grass area. Massive hotel. So that's the back of the H10. These are all the little accommodations, look, with sea views and stuff like that. This is a long live today. I know my legs are screaming at me, Laura. They're screaming at me. It's a bloody long live. I don't even know how long we've been on. What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? It must be late because I've only got 400 people on and people are like, God, we better better, we better put this 11, 11, it's been two hours, two hours, four. We usually do about two hours. So it's not too bad. But I can see people are off now, isn't they? They're like, come on, we need to put this geezer down now. 
we've got things to do it's sunday or not just chill come chill with me i'll do the walking and the talking you just you just do the watching i'm going to try and sneak up the side of this this way here to get to the front there must be a cut through i bloody hope so anyway because i really don't want to walk all the way around if not i'm gonna to have to break into the hotel sunday lives are my favorite brilliant <laughs> Lots of people tune in on a Sunday. So we're still on the Rubicon, look. Just to show you how big it is, we're still on the bloody Rubicon Palace here, look. Keep going, Dave. I'm not, I'm not going too much further, Mark. I'm trying to find a way to get back up because I'm almost down to the Royal Monica area. And I need to get to the front of this bloody hotel because I'm right in the car park. I'm trying to limit, limit the walk back. Right, so you can see, it's massive, isn't it? Absolutely huge place. And I'm hoping I can cut through here because I literally am almost at the end. I'm always by the bloody lighthouse here. Jesus. There must be a side cut here. I am literally, my car is two minutes that way. There has to be a way. <laughs> there has to be a way to the front I ain't walking all the way around no chance I could cut through the Royal Monica there but then that's still a massive walk for me let's see let's see let's see hopefully there's a little cut through here beautiful bar down here look beautiful beach bar as well um, again one of them places you might miss but it's a lovely little place I can't remember the name of it Chiring Chiringuito I think not 100% sure. I'll tell you what, might as well walk to the abandoned hotel by the time I got down here. I'm hoping there's a right turn here. The bloody isn't. Surely there must be. Oh my God. There isn't, it's literally, literally fenced off. Oh, for God's sake. So here's this little bar anyway. We're gonna have to cut through the Royal Monica. This is not going to be quick. <laughs> oh well, you got me for a little bit longer. So here's this lovely bar, look, right on the front. You can get drinks, food, and they do like special nights with their really famous chefs. Oh, I better, uh, I better cut that bit out of YouTube or talk loud because YouTube will have me off on that. Um, what's up there? Oh, I may have found a little entrance there. <laughs> Oh no, that's just going to take me to a sports thing. Let me just pop up these stairs. Probably wasting my energy. Let's see if I can get to the side. Because my honestly, my car is like a minute away from here. But I can't get there. No, that's a bloody sports. A sports centre. And there's no gaps in the fence either. Bloody hell, look. Oh well, I can show you the uh, Royal Monica, look. Come on. Let me show you the pool of the Royal Monica. We have to go the long way. Magical mystery tour. Bloody is now, Mark. I'm lost completely. All I want to do is get to the main road. So I'm going to have to cut through here, look. So this is the Royal Monica. Very French here. Loads of French people. Loads of French here. <laughs> I'm lost, I'm lost. We're walking through here, look. Definitely French here, look there. Even the entertainment crew's speaking French. So let's get through. Ah, there we go. I can see an exit here. There you go, magic, magical mystery tour there, look, of the Royal Monica Hotel. Very cheap hotel, this. Could do with a bit of a, fa a facelift. Very popular with the French, but it's dirt cheap to stay here. Like, really cheap. And it's going to have to be a proper mystery tour, because I have no idea where I'm going, but I need to get up here. So you get to see this hotel, and I get to walk bloody miles. Little kids area there. Let's get head over this bridge. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm never parking on that side again. There's no shortcuts. Right, hang on. This might bring me out somewhere. Oh, we're not too far here, I don't think. Let's go. So this is the side of the Royal Monica. I lost my interest with popular with the French. Yeah. The French complain a hell of a lot about everything. Uh, we do get, oh, there you go. I can see a little shortcut over here. Come on. There you go. Look, I'm parked literally just up there. So I've had to walk all the way down here just to get here. There's a the Rubicon over there. You won't do this again. I bloody won't, Ruth. <laughs> I tell you, I'm dying. I am dying. My legs are killing me. Things I do on a Sunday morning. <laughs> oh, well, it's worth it. It's worth it. Oh. Oh. I am out. Yes, thank God. I'm back on the main road. Now, I'm not too far to the car park but that should have been an easy mission that should have just been a straight cut through and I'd have been laughing oh. right come on let's get over here that's a nice house look I can not notice at people's houses here look a lovely pool look <laughs> right let's get up here Ah, oh, come on, you can do it. Oh God, it feels like so long. It feels like a long walk to the car now. I'm back, I'm back on the main road, look. Oh. There we are, back on the main road. Oh, nice cold beer. I don't drink, Andy, I haven't drank for 20 years. I haven't had a drop of alcohol for 20 plus years because I was a nightmare. <laughs> I was a naughty 18 to 30s club rep back in the day, so my job was drinking. So the way I look at it, I've drank my lifetime's worth of alcohol between the ages of sort of 17 and 23. I did, it, I did enough for a lifetime, so now I just don't drink. <laughs> right, let's have a look here one second. Whoa! Let's have a look. Where are you? Let's... Look at the bloody state of me. Where are you walking? Back to the car. <sighs> so we're nearly right back at the car. Uh, hi Dave from Keith Lee, hello. So guys, if you join me today, if you've only just joined me, you can catch up on the whole live. It's on uh, YouTube. So we're recording in 4K on YouTube. If you haven't already, please, please head over to my YouTube channel, travelon.world. Subscribe to that. We're nearly on 10,000. I'd love you forever if I got to 10,000 this weekend. I don't think I'm going to, uh, but I've got loads of videos coming that could get me there. Um, and that's it. Every Sunday morning, we're live from nine o'clock. Like I said, this month, I'll probably be all, all Lanzarote. Next month, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, back over to Tenerife. We'll be doing loads of stuff. Big thanks to the moderators that have been on today. I know Mark, I've seen Neil, I've seen Nicola. Patrick's been on, Stokey's been on. Uh, Mrs. Travelon been on. There's been loads, and I do appreciate all your help answering all the questions because I can't see everything while I'm walking. Uh, but if you have got any questions, feel free to private message me. I do answer pretty much 99% of the private messages. Um, you can get in touch with us there. We've got a live chat facility on the website, travelon.world, excursionslanzarote.com. You can speak to some of the girls in the office there that'll be able to answer any questions for you. Don't forget, if you're looking for excursions, um, it's those websites and uh, the discount code is TTK TTK and that'll get you a discount oh I could have done with him picking me up earlier look there's a geezer here look on a in a little bu uh, golf buggy <laughs> and there's a look there's the shortcut there's a shortcut look he's heading that way right TTK is the discount code I've made it back to the car. 
So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, really do appreciate all of your support on the channels. They're going absolutely fantastic. I don't know how many we're on TikTok now, 82,000. Um, the aim is to get to 100,000 by the end of this year, which we'll, I think we'll do. Um, and then 10,000 on, uh, on YouTube. And the more, the more you follow, like, comment, the better it is for me. I don't ask for money. I'm not asking you to send me gifts and do all that stupid stuff on TikTok. Uh, if you do, I appreciate it. All I do is I put it back into to promoting the channel, um, you know. But please keep your money keep your money safe in your pocket. You're going to need it. The world's gone bloody crazy. Um, all I ask is that you subscribe to the channels, you follow the channels, um, head over to YouTube and subscribe there because I do get a little bit of Wonga from the YouTube. Uh, not a great deal, but all helps with the ad clicks and stuff like that. TikTok, I make nothing on. 83.1, fabulous. With 83k, thank you, Neil. Um, and Neil, I think. When I said about the moderators, I think I might have forgot your name then, Neil. I don't mean, there's, like, there's a few of you on here. Neil, Mark, Nicola, Mrs. Travelon, Stokey, Patrick, all the moderators are great. Um, but yeah, all I ask is if you're coming to Lanzarote or any of the Canary Islands, have a look at our site, travelon.world. If you like what you see, then do uh, make a booking and book an excursion there. Uh, that's our livelihood. That's how we live, there, live day to day. Um, and we've put a really, really good website together for you that means you can book very easily and you can get a discount with the code TTK and you'll be able to uh, book all your excursion. That's all I ask. Nothing more, eh? For a two-hour walk and a lot of sweating. But at least I'm losing weight. Have a great day today. It's Sunday. Keep smiling because I know that things in the news are just there to get you down, aren't they? Try and turn the news off. Try not to look at crap. Try not to listen to crap. And just try and stay positive. Um, and that's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to get through it day to day, aren't we? We just have to forget. And if you, oh, we're just going to have to forget and just crack on, aren't we? So all that's left to say is thank you for watching today. If you're on YouTube, this is the catch up. If you're on TikTok, you've been with me live. And I'll see you in the next video, which is the loads to come this week. And also see you... Um, on the next live Sunday. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I'll be somewhere. So I'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye.